Hi everyone, my name is Cole Banner and welcome to this week's gaming pickups video. Um, I've got quite a bit to show, so I'm going to try and go quick. Um, just because last time I recorded this, it took about half an hour. So I'm going to pull a couple of bits out of it and I'm also going to um, go a bit faster. So, without further ado, let's have a look and see what we got. So, the majority of the stuff is for the PlayStation 1 and I will show all of that in a moment. Um, what I want to start with, though, is a pickup that I had this afternoon, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, Lady on Facebook had posted um, a PlayStation Vita. Um, really nice condition. It's one of the fat AMOLED ones. Um, but she said, I haven't got a charger for it, um, so I have no idea if it works. Um, so, it sold a scene, 25 quid. Shot up there like a flash and grabbed it, because for £25, absolute steal. Um, did ask her when I got there as well if she had any other stuff and she had an original Xbox and uh, no wires again with that one um, she only wanted £10 so that's why I had that as well i um, not going to show that you've seen an original Xbox and I've got three of them already so it's an original Xbox it's black it's a bit noisy um, and it's having trouble reading discs which probably mean, means its lens is either on its way out or needs a cleaning so I'm going to give that a bit of a service tomorrow um, but the Vita itself um, came with a game which is cool and um, so inside it it had fortunately not a great game um, but a game all the same FIFA 13 and also came with a 8 gig memory card um, which is another bonus um, he says yep 8 gig memory card in the bottom there um, he says ha tiny little thing but 8 gig memory card uh, it is the 3G model as well, which is cool. Uh, it's got a SIM card in there. Kind of hoping it's not still connected to the internet because that will be using up data of theirs. Um, but I'll have a look and I'll probably just pull that out and throw it in the bin later. Um, as I say, she didn't say um, if it was... She didn't know if it was working or not. Um, and sure enough, powered it all up and it is working. Unfortunately, I think taking the memory card out has forced a reboot. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. Um, twenty-five pounds working. It's on three point six five, which I believe means it is hackable. So I am going to have a go at that because I've already got one. Um, and at twenty-five quid, if I mess it up, I don't care. Okay, there is something as well that I wanted to show, and I meant to do this right off the bat at the start of this because I wanted to get this thank you out there as fast as I could. Um, and that is a thank you to Geordie Slasher Gaming. Uh, he ran a competition on his channel where if you commented on one of his videos you were entered into a draw to win a game and i was lucky enough to win it and the game is an evercade game it's the atari lynx collection 2. this does mean i need an evercade now so i'm looking for one online i've seen a couple of deals uh, online funstock has a pretty good one with 10 of the games um, and I think there's a couple of them on eBay that are varying prices. Um, but really happy to receive that. And thank you so very much for that. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I'll leave a link to his channel in the comment section below. Check his content out. He has some really good videos. Um, does some unboxing stuff as well as pickups and talking about gaming. So really knowledgeable guy. Well worth a watch. Okay. What else have I got? PlayStation 1 stuff. So. Um, 25 uh, 20 pounds on uh gumtree um made an offer uh 40 pounds um and was lucky enough to get it uh thought 20 pounds wasn't enough looking at the condition of some of the discs maybe 20 pounds was enough but at the same time don't regret it um i've got 10 new games for my collection a couple of donor cases in with them um so there was a donor case for tony hawk's skateboarding um, this one did have its manual, but I've stolen it because my black label copy didn't have a manual. Yes, it's a platinum manual in with a black label box, but it's better than no manual, so I can deal with that for now. Um, and the other donor case um, was one that I only saw the spine form, was hoping that it'd be in there, but it is Crash Team Racing. Unfortunately, it's just the back of the box that's there, the, the front of it's missing. Okay, doubles. Let's plough through these doubles and then we'll get on to the 10 games that I'm keeping. Uh, I have no idea on value of some of these games. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I just bought them because 
I was getting 10 games for me, and I think I could move the doubles on for about 20 quid. So, in essence, I'd be paying £2 a game for games that I need, which I think is about fair. So, we have actual golf. Uh, this one is fully complete, has the manual and the front cover, and the disc is in really nice shape. Uh, Brian Lara Cricket. This one is missing its front cover, and the disc is not great. Um, but I do already have this one. Um, in fact, I have all of these next few. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one that is definitely going to become a donor case because it's in really nice shape, this case. Uh, Big Strike Bowling. Uh, disc is okay. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, manual looks like someone's been chewing on it. Um, as you can see there, absolutely disgusting. Um, but, yeah, brilliant. One that's missing its manual, box is in rough shape, and disc is in rough shape. Uh, bit of a mouthful this one, it's called Cubics, Robots for Everyone, Race and Robots. I had to look at the spine to remember that one. Um, yeah, box is in pieces, missing its manual, but it has got the front cover in there, and like I said, disc isn't great. Uh, next, we have one that I stole the disc from, um, and that is Dance UK. My disc wasn't great, but mine had all of the mail aways and leaflets in there. This one um, is nice and complete. Nice, decent case. Uh, again, may well become a donor case for the ones that I'm keeping. Next up, we have Dead Ball Zone. This one is missing its manual and is in rough shape, as I remember. I think this one's pretty bad, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, yes, this one is really bad. Lots and lots, and lots of light scratches. One which is in terrible shape, but hopefully I've got a front cover for or still one of the ones off there. And um, we have Extreme Ghostbusters. Um, this one is missing its front cover. Manual's there. Uh, disc isn't great. But one thing that I did notice with this is that um, in recording this video for the fourth time, um, it is compatible with the light gun. So I am going to give that a try at some point because I do love my light gun games. Um, and I didn't realise that that one was light gun compatible. What pickup would be complete without at least one Midas ripoff game? And this one has the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, all of it's in there. The disc isn't great though. Um, it's just another one of those Disney ripoffs that I absolutely detest. Uh, next, what I think should be a Midas game but isn't um, Jigsaw Madness. This one's in really nice shape. Again, the box is really nice. Uh, just one crack across the front there. So I think. I may steal at least part of this box for one of my games. One game that I am doomed never to find a decent copy of, uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, this one is in pretty poor condition. Uh, the case is covered in stickers. I do need to buy some Google. Mine ran out today um, as I started sorting these out. Um, one thing that's quite interesting, and I might take a photo of this just because I'm lazy and don't want to look on the internet. All the cheat codes are in the cover there. But um, I suppose it depends on how into your collecting you are. If you saw something like that, that might upset you if you want in really nice minty games. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's been lived in, it's been loved, it's been played. Nearly picked from the wrong pile then. Uh, next we have Popstar Maker. Just a cheap old game, this one. Um, front and back on this has got some damage. Disc isn't great, but everything's in there. There is a mail away for a competition that ended in 2002, so I don't know if I'll send this one off, but I might. Um, I've been sending a few of these away, hoping that one of the, the game companies would see a mailing card coming from like a PlayStation 1 game and think, what's going on here, and send me some goodies, but alas, no. Game I overpaid for, uh, quite significantly, uh, Putchy Carrot. Uh, this one, it has got its proper back, but it's not got the proper front. Um, and it hasn't got an instruction manual. The disc isn't great, um, but the game is absolutely fantastic. Uh, really good fun. Uh, another fun game, Rayman, the original Rayman on the PlayStation 1. Um, already have this, um, and mine is a platinum label as well, but uh, this is nice and complete. Disc isn't great, but should still work. Okay, just conscious this is going to start falling over soon. Uh, next, another Phoenix, or oh, sorry, Midas game, uh, Riding Star. This one at least has a actual bit of gameplay that isn't just copying a Disney cartoon and using the same things um, as all the other Midas games do. But no manual, disc isn't great, no front cover. 
one that I was desperate to be brilliant, um, and it's not bad to be fair, but Spider-Man. Um, my copy is slightly better though, even though it's platinum, so I am going to keep my copy for now um, and move this one on. Disc on this one's a bit rough, um, Tiger Woods 2000. Um, what can I say? Uh, manual's in there, front cover's there. As I say, disc isn't great. This one is missing a few bits, um, and it is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Um, it's got the disc. disc is alright. It's not brilliant, but it's alright. Um, no manual, no front cover. Uh, one that I keep getting lots and lots of platinum copies of, but no decent copies on the black label. Uh, V-Rally. Um, again, manual's in there, disc, front cover, all complete. Um, just a shame that it's not a black label, because the disc is, again, quite nice. This one I did a swap for with the one in my copy, uh, my collection. So this one is actually out of my collection, um, and it is Virtual Pool uh, with Steve Davis and Ronnie O'Sullivan. My copy was a bit rough on the disc, or a bit rougher, should I say? It wasn't terrible to be fair, um, but this one is complete with manual and front cover. Um, but I did do a swap with that one. Uh, typical filler title: uh, The Weakest Link. Um, this one is in rough condition, uh, but is nice and complete. Doesn't have the mail away in there, um, which I usually find with that one. And then finally in the doubles, we have Worms World Party. Uh, missing the inner cover, but the manual's in there and the disc is rough as I remember. Okay, right. Speed round over. That's the doubles. Oh, that's better. Um, right. The ones that I'm keeping, though. So, Phoenix title first, and that is King of Bowling 3. Uh, I thought I had this one, but I only have King of Bowling 2, so going to keep this one for me. There's no manual in there, and the disc, I believe, is okay. It's not great, but it is okay. There's a couple of light scratches on it and a few fingerprints, but nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, one that I've walked away from a couple of times because I thought I already had it, uh, Rascal Racers. This one is a Midas game. Um, didn't realise that when I first recorded this, but then did spot it on the front there, that horrible Midas logo that makes me regret wanting to play the game. But I'm going to give it a look. Um, I can't remember what the disc is like on this one. Um, disc is okay. A couple of light scratches, a couple of fingerprints, nothing drastic. One that definitely does need a new case, and that is Treasure Planet. Um, this one, you see the case is heavily damaged, um, but missing its front cover, the manual's slightly water damaged, and the disc isn't great. So this is going to probably become a placeholder for now until I find a better copy of it down the road. Uh, one that I've been looking for for a while. I see it in bundles all the time and never find it in a bundle when I buy it, and that is Pipe Mania 3D. Uh, this one is nice and complete, and the disc is good, um, so pleased with that one. Uh, another one where the disc is good, and we have Chicken Run. Uh, it is again missing the front mat cover, but the manual's in there, and the disc, as I say, is pretty good. This one is absolutely shocking, uh, and it is Hugo, um, the quest for the Sunstones. Um, the back of this is upside down, so I'm going to have to take this to bits and put it back together again. The manual is in three pieces. Um, and the disc is horrific, so this one definitely just, again, probably a placeholder until I find something better. Devastated about this one, because I actually sold a copy of this not long ago with the manual. Um, but this one is Descent, no manual, no front cover. Uh, disc isn't great, um, so again, going to be a placeholder for now. Uh, one that is absolutely gorgeous though, um, ECW Anarchy Rules. Don't have any ECW games at the moment. I uh, do have a few wrestling games, a lot of the WWF and a couple of the WCW. Um, but this one is definitely going in the collection. Another one that could probably do with a new case. Um, probably do with a new copy, if I'm honest, because the disc isn't great. Um, and that is NBA Jam Extreme. Um, as I say, the case, I don't know if you can see it here. It'll probably show up in the photo if I don't manage to clean it with some acetone, I'm guessing. Um, it's really cloudy and doesn't look good, um, but the disc as well isn't great, if I'm honest. And then finally, um, to finish up on, uh, we have uh, 
Moto Racer World Tour. Um, this one I thought I had, but I apparently don't. Um, the case is in many pieces, and the uh, cover, someone's pulled a roach out of it by the looks of things. Disc isn't great, um, but again, we'll probably do for now as a, a placeholder. Okay, apologies for the whistle-stop tour. I didn't want to labour too much on it because quite a lot of games there. There's 30-odd games, as I say, paid £40 for the lot, hoping to flip the doubles for 20 um, which will mean that I'll have paid £20 for the 10 games that I need. Um, although, as I say, some of them are pretty rough, um, at least you know they'll do for placeholders or you know if i see one down the line that's just a decent disc but the rest of it's shocking i can do some swapping about okay um thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video